Today I am showing you how to get T-Mobile service for free for 30 days. I am going to show you how to download and set up your free service from T-Mobile Test Drive. It's a new kind of perk they have. They've always had T-Mobile Test Drive, but now they're offering it in the form of an eSIM to iPhone users who have a 10s or newer. So if you're interested in testing out eSIM, test drive from T-Mobile, then this is the video for you. I'm gonna walk you through step by step, including it making sure that your phone's even capable of doing it. I'm Sherry Riggs, thanks for watching with Slap TV. Disco ball earrings, give me a like if you like disco. <laughs> okay. If this video ends up helping you or if you want to hear more from me, be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Every little bit helps. And we are 41,000 strong right now and I just want to keep growing. So thanks to everybody who is subscribed already. But let's get into it. So today we're talking T-Mobile test drive and why it's important. Let's talk about the promotion. Like let's talk about the details of T-Mobile test drive. So first off, it's been around for a second, at least since 2014 in different forms or another, the most common form has been a hotspot system that T-Mobile will send to you for free to test out service. And you would just carry that around with you like in a purse or a pocket or a bag, and you would just be connected to T-Mobile's hotspot that they send you for 30 days to test out their network. Now, with the new promotion they have, they're offering an eSIM test drive. So eSIM is an electronic SIM card. It's a little computer already built into your phone. You don't need a physical SIM to slide in. It just kind of downloads from the internet and then you are good to go and test out the service. So the details of this promotion with the eSIM is that you get 30 days of service from T-Mobile for free. You don't even have to put in a credit card information or anything or 30 gigabytes, whichever comes first. Plus you get unlimited talk and text as well. And with the unlimited talk and text, you would have a new cell phone number, but if you just wanna test out the data and the data speeds, then you can set it up in your the setup process to make sure that your current number will stay with your current provider and you can just test out the data. So you can be using two carriers at once, which is a kind of the cool thing about eSIM technology. So that's basically the details of the promotion. Let's get into the phone and make sure that your phone is good to go to accept an eSIM carrier. Now the basics of this are easy. If you have an iPhone 10s or newer, then you have an eSIM capability. However, your phone does need to be unlocked to be able to hop on board this promotion. And to make sure your iPhone is unlocked, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is go to your settings, go to general and then about, and then scroll down and you will see carrier unlock status. And if it says anything else besides no SIM restrictions, then you probably don't have an unlocked phone and you probably won't be able to qualify for this T-Mobile promotion. But if it doesn't, if it says there are no SIM restrictions, then you are good to go. My phone I bought directly from Apple, so it's already unlocked. I bought it from the manufacturer, so I am good to download T-Mobile test drive and test out this eSIM technology for 30 days. So let's get to it. And uh, next I'm showing you how to download this and set up your eSIM so it works flawlessly for you. So first we're going to go to the app store and you're just gonna search T-Mobile test drive. Now I've talked about this before that T-Mobile has so many freaking apps to download, but this one just type in T-Mobile test drive and it will be the first one to pop up. Be sure to download it, then open it, and it will bring you to a few screens. You can skip past most of the instructions unless you are like a nervous Nancy like me and wanna make sure you have everything perfect to a T before you continue forward. Now, this is the basics of it. As you go through step by step, it's going to ask you if you want to keep your current carrier as your primary provider for a few different settings, for calls, for FaceTime and iMessage, and for data. So for calling, make your current provider your primary provider. And do the same thing for I, iMessage and FaceTime, make your current provider your primary. And then when it comes to data, which is what I am doing, I made T-Mobile the 
primary on that. So I will be using AT&T, my current provider, for my phone calls, iMessage, and FaceTime. That way my number stays the same and all my text messages stay the same and don't go awry. And then I'm just gonna be testing out T-Mobile's data to see what it's like in my area. And that's basically the gist of it. It's really easy, really simple. The only complicated thing kind of is choosing between primary and secondary, but just know that for the most part, your current provider is gonna stay primary for everything except for data, and then T-Mobile will be the primary there. Now, if you messed something up in this process and you maybe clicked the wrong thing, don't worry, you can always change in your settings of your phone to go into your settings and then about, and then in cellular also, you can go through and mess around with those settings and make sure that you have everything labeled correctly is primary and secondary so you're not getting things too mixed up on your device. Now I'm just going to walk you through a few tips and tricks on your phone. So if you pull down from the top right corner of your phone and then you look to the left hand corner, you're going to see two networks. You're going to see your current and primary network, which for me is AT&T, and then you're going to see T-Mobile. In little squares next to them, you're going to see primary and secondary. So mine says primary for my AT&T service, but T-Mobile is on top and it has the little Wi-Fi bar data selection bar and that's how you know which network you are on. So AT&T is on bottom, so I'm using T-Mobile data which is on top. So I hope that simplifies it for, for you a little bit so you have a little bit more information on how this works, but it's basically really simple. I don't want you to feel like it's overcomplicated. You can download it, follow the instructions in the app, or come back to this video and look for this information or ask me some questions in the comments. I'll be sure to get back to you. Uh, I'm Sherry Riggs with Wislaw TV. Thanks for watching. See you next time.